You really are the devil. Oh, come on, baby. Come and sit down. Hey guys, welcome back to Super Top 10s. Today we'll talk about the top 10 sexy female movie villains. Let's head into it. Number 10, Harley Quinn. Okay, so given her extreme popularity, like other breakout villains, Harley has slowly but surely evolved into more of an anti-hero. But regardless of her recent film and increasingly moral decisions in the comics, Harley Quinn has historically landed closer to villain on the good versus evil paradigm. She's been party to some nasty plots alongside Mr. J, and in the Suicide Squad, she's one of the bad guys. She even says so herself, we're the bad guys. Sex appeal is a big part of Harley Quinn's identity in the movie, both in terms of outfits and how she interacts with the men, including guards. Margot Robbie really leans into the character's well-documented craziness, and it all makes her an absolute pleasure to watch. What? Number 9. TX Terminatrix Is she Arnie? No. But the villainous Terminator, in the third installment of this popular franchise, knows how to turn heads with her own right. The filmmakers were clearly going for the blood bombshell angle when developing this character, and the film doesn't shy away from highlighting TX's killer assets. Whether she's driving a car or getting repeatedly hit in the face by the OG Terminator, TX always has the same confident look on her face. She's unflappable. More than just a pretty face though, actress Kristana Loken really got in shape for the role, packing on muscle in order to live up to the physicality that one expects from a Terminator. Busty, brawny, and absolutely deadly. The Terminatrix is the whole villainous package. Number 8. The Devil The Devil has taken on many forms over the years across various media, but few iterations of the biblical root of all evil have made quite as a big an impression as the one we got in Bedazzled. English bombshell Elizabeth Hurley plays a devil, and the outfits she wears are downright torture for every person watching. In exchange for his soul, the devil offers to give Brendan Fraser's geeky Elliot Richard seven wishes. All he really wants, however, is to be with his work crush, Allison, and so he repeatedly tries to make this a reality, while well, the devil finds twisted ways to mess it up. But honestly, considering how drop-dead gorgeous the devil is, we're Kind of surprised she can think of anyone but Lucifer herself. Number 7. Emma Frost For decades, Emma Frost has been one of the most scantily clad and explicitly sexual characters in all of Marvel Comics, and when she made her big screen debut in 2011's X-Men First Class, well, they did the source material proud. She's a supporting villain, but the casting of January Jones ensures that all eyes are on her every time she appears on screen. Like her comic book counterpart, this version of Emma Frost is only too happy to use her sexuality as a tool or weapon to reach her goals. Though, considering she's also an incredibly powerful telepath, she didn't actually get physical. Add to that her diamond skin, and Emma Frost is one beauty you do not want to mess with. Excellent question. Number 6. Catwoman Can you say meow? Played by Michelle Pfeiffer, this classic Batman villain became the gold standard by which all sexy supervillains are judged with the release of this 1992 sequel. Her skin-tight outfit required the actress to use talcum powder to get it on. Suffice it to say, that shiny black number leaves nothing to the imagination. While Pfeiffer's Catwoman could have made this list based on looks alone, it's the performance that really earns her such high marks. Pfeiffer really channels the character's slinky feline sexuality, and the end result is enough to drive a viewer barking mad. The performance is utterly captivating but also fierce and commanding. Intelligent, witty, and gorgeous, this Catwoman earns her status as film icon. Number 5. Satanico Pandemonium Her name is certainly a mouthful, but for a chance to get close to her, we suspect that you'll figure it out. Satanico Pandemonium is the queen and matriarch of a seedy strip club in the Mexican desert. She, like her fellow strippers at the club, is a vampire who preys upon local patrons. So while the provocative outfits and Salma Hayek's surreal figure might seem tempting, this lab dance could very well be your last. But hey, given this raw sexual energy infused to Hayek's every move in the role, you might not be able to resist her seduction. Word to the wise though, it's probably best to avoid women who wear snakes. Seems like a villainous red flag. Number 4. Senya on the top. The James Bond franchise isn't exactly lacking for smoking hot female characters, be they villains, allies, or damsels in distress. But of the many Bond girls who have graced the screen over the years, few have inspired repeated viewings quite like Senya on the top. Played by Famke Janssen, this suggestively named henchwoman takes pleasure in two things, pleasure and murder preferably at the same time. She's described as a sadist, and honestly, one look at her is enough to tell you that this dark-haired, sultry beauty has villainous intent. Her preferred method of murder is to crush men between her thighs. We know what you're thinking, but that's not what she has in mind. You don't need the gun, Commander. That depends on your definition of safe sex. Number 3. Amy Rosamund Pike is no stranger to playing deadly but drop-dead gorgeous women. Need a reminder? How about her head-turning performance in Die Another Day? As Miranda Frost, she's a force to be reckoned with, be it bed or with a sword in her hand. But it's Pike's performance in Gone Girl that really earns her a spot on the podium. As Amy Dunn, she's utterly captivating. She's not just beautiful but absolutely magnetic, the sort of woman who everyone at the party wants to talk to. Behind that charming exterior, however, is a master manipulator with a story of destroying lives. 
but boy, does she ever look good doing it. Number 2. Jennifer Check Though her acting resume is rather hit or miss, there's no denying that Megan Fox is a sex symbol. She's arguably best known for her more heroic roles, like those she played in the Transformers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. But in this 2009 horror comedy, she got to embrace her darker side and really get some blood on her hands. Leaning into the demonic possession of her character, Megan is sexier and more devilishly seductive than ever before. Jennifer Check is essentially a Black Widow spider in human form, a deadly hunter who seduces unsuspecting men only to kill them in gruesome fashion. But even armed with that knowledge, we bet some people would still go for it. Number 1. Catherine Trammell We've seen numerous female villains on the film in the years since the movie came out, and many of them have been far more overly sexualized than Catherine Trammell. But it takes more than skimpy outfits, provocative framing, and malicious intent to make for an iconic femme fatal. In this erotic thriller, Sharon Stone plays a writer who is carnal in every sense of the word. She's driven by equal parts lust and bloodlust. She oozes with dangerous sexuality that's enough to send chills down your spine. More than just eye candy though, Sharon Stone delivers an arresting performance, one that makes Catherine Trammell not just one of the sexiest villains in film history, but among the most iconic psycho killers to ever grace the screen. This brings us to the end of our video, I hope you enjoyed it, hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.